All right, so when you're working in Procreate, it's really good to work in your layers. Um, that way you get the best results. So I have, of course, my croquis, the outline of my croquis in one layer, my fill in a separate layer, and then I actually have my actual sketch of my garment in its own layer. So I'm gonna just remove the layers um, and just focus on the actual garment of my dress. And so basically what you wanna do first is you want to then create its own layer outside of the outline of the garment that you're making. So I'm gonna click my um, plus sign to add additional layer. And then in this layer, you're actually gonna fill in the garment. I typically go for black so I can see it better. Um, and then you want to select the brush. I think it's a brush that I can actually kind of build upon. I don't make it too dark and kind of like kind of see it as I go along. So I'm gonna fill in my garment with this brush. Um, and it's gonna kind of go along its silhouette and fill it in. And this is good, especially if you are like working with more of a sheer fabric, you can definitely like go lighter if you want to. Um, so that's a good thing to kind of have. Instead of making it too heavy, you can always build upon um, the fill in. So again, the darker you make it, the deeper your um, your image will come in. So I'm just gonna do that. Just kind of build upon it. All right, so I have her all filled in. All right, so now I'm going to do, going to do I'm going to go to this little tool handle here, and then go to um, insert a photo, which then takes me to my photo album on my iPad. I'm going to select my sketch, I mean my pattern here. So once this is in, I'm going to go to the um, layers menu, and on layer five, I'm going to double tap. I'm going to hit select but it knows where it's actually going to be filling to. And then I'm going to go back to the incident image, double tap, and then create um, clipping mask. So when I do the clipping mask, that's how it's going to be, um, it's going to fill into that particular image. So when I have it in here, if you want to, you can go ahead and there's a little arrow here and let you kind of transform the sketch if you want to. So you have free form, distort and warp. Uniform doesn't give you the more limitations. Um, you can definitely like scale it down some more if you want to. But I like to use the free form or the warp to kind of make it kind of flow along the fabric. So if it has more of a flare, I could actually warp it, um, warp it out to kind of go know in the direction of the fabric or however I want that pattern to kind of um, relate so I can warp it around move it around or do like distort however you want to manipulate that pattern you can do that or freeform as well it kind of helps you um, that you do whatever you want to that particular um, fabric so I'm going to do that okay so once I have my Pattern. And again, so if you, so I want it to be more of a lighter fabric, so I, that's why I did the brush. You want it to be heavier, it will come in deeper. You want to use a more deeper brush. So once I have that, I'm going to then take my two fingers and then combine um, the two fabrics. And then I can go and this will be my, um, my filled in image. So it's a little bit sheer. So if I wanted to make it more deeper or more solid, I could definitely go back and fill in with a different brush, which I will show you. So I'm just gonna go back. And so let's go with another brush. So I'm gonna use the brown brush and I'm going to fill her in a lot heavier. This will give me a different result once I fill in um, the sketch. So again, you always want to, um, so if you wanna do something that's more like, you know, sheer, um, you can definitely um, use the lighter brush. If you want it to be more prominent and come a little bit more clearly, you can use a heavier or deeper brush or build up. I like I just be able to build upon it, um, depending on what kind of fabric that I have. Um, that way it doesn't come out too um, too dark. So again, I'm just gonna fill this in. The deeper you have it, the deeper that pattern 
um, comes through and again, you want to make sure you use it black so that it can, it can um, create that effect. Okay, so I have that. I'm going to go back and I'm going to go to um, insert photo, select this photo. I'm going to go to here on my um, dress scar. I'm going to double click and hit select. And then I'm going to go to the insert the image and go to clipping mask. And as you can see, the dress is a lot more darker. Um, I think I like that more. So I'm going to want to just kind of distort a little bit, just kind of move that around um, to make the dress. Make it kind of flow some if I want it to. Okay. And then go here, and then I want to combine both layers. And then I can put in my crow key, and then I have my filled in dress. So now, once you have this in, I then like to just go back on top of it with like my um, whatever my drawing or inking it out to kind of re um, draw in the shape so it's a little more prominent. Um, so I'm going to draw that back in. I can probably make this a little bit heavier. Or even use like a different color if I want to. So now I have my dress filled in. Okay, so I have that one done. Okay, so now say I want to create like a garment, like a little like sheer garment to go on top of it. If you're trying to create like a sheer look. Um, so basically I created my second look here. So it's like a little over, like a little rollover. Um, so you can guys can see it better that way. So again, you have the option to again use a lighter brush. That way it won't come in as dense. Um, or you can also choose the opacity um, function to make it a little bit more sheer. So I'm gonna do I'm gonna do both. I'm gonna use my lighter brush to kind of build upon it and use the opacity to make it even more sheer. So you can see both ways. So first, again, make sure I'm on a separate layer. And one, this is my garment. I'm gonna create my separate layer. And I'm gonna start filling in my garment. So again, the lighter you make your brush, the lighter that kind of will show through. The darker you make your brush, the heavier or more dense your pattern um, or image you can use to make show through. sketch and it's going to go ahead and just re-outline some of my areas yeah. 
So I have options. I can do the sheer or leave it as is. So then she has, <laughs> it doesn't really match, but that way, you know, she has options. She has the sheer look, then she has a regular option. Again, it's always just good to, um, you know, work in different layers. Um, Get that right, correct effect. Um, that way it doesn't, um, if you want to change anything, say I want to go back and change the feel, I can just go back to the outline that I had and just go ahead and reach it in. Instead of having to redo like, the whole step out, it's just good to have layers as an option to um, fill that in. So that is that.